Hello and welcome. Today we are going to work on dual house fading drawings file. First, we are going to make a copy. If you don't have the link, you can find it on the description part of this video. And then I'm going to just delete the copy part. Okay. Now I have the part in my account, so I'm going to just insert new element and I'm going to create drawing and you should choose the uh, the a n s i b millimeter drawing file if you don't have them you can find it from here and i'm gonna click okay Insert view automatically activated. So I'm going to just choose the part that I have in my account and make sure the scale is 1 to 2. I'm going to add the front view and I'm going to click the escape button. And then I'm going to use the center mark to find them at the center of the each hole here. So I'm, you can click the circle. It's going to automatically snaps find the center of the holes and from here instead of uh, center mark I'm gonna use two point center line okay the first part of the activity is completed I'm gonna click the escape button and then I'm gonna click project view projected view and I'm gonna choose the front view and I'm gonna move my mouse up that's gonna be my top view i'm gonna click the front view again and i'm gonna move my mouse to right this will be the right view again i'm gonna click the mouse uh, the front view and then i'm gonna move the cursor of the mouse to side so i'm gonna leave them this will be my isometric view i'm gonna click the escape and then I'm going to just drag them to site. So it's better now. And the right click on the isometric view and click show shaded view. Now um, we are going to add some extra views. Um, first, we are going to add the section view. So to be able to add the section view, we are going to use this uh, tool, section view tool. I'm going to click and then I will choose, I'm going to just click there from the center. And then I'm when I click left click, then I'm going to just move my cursor to right. I think that's good. This will be my section view. Now I'm going to use also for detail view to understand better this part of the uh, I have three of them the dual house fitting so I'm gonna use the detail view so I'm gonna use the detail view tool and I'm gonna start from the center and it's gonna draw a circle that's good and I'm gonna place them right below to front view make sure you at the uh, center point the center of the this circle so to be able to do that you are going to use center mark now we have the center point now the last part we are gonna um, add dimensions so let's start the adding the dimensions so I'm gonna activate the dimension tool and then let's um, which one we should start okay let's start with the right view so distance between this two line will be 10 and escape I'm gonna click the dimension tool again the angle between zoom this two line will be 45 degree escape and we're gonna use again the dimension tool distance between 
so these two line will be 52.35 and we are gonna use whole call out to find the here dimension of this hole here left click and escape and since we have the three of them so to be able to do that I'm gonna just double click here and I'm gonna just type it three times so there will be three of them three and X when you type it and just click on the graphic area left click on the graphic area so this part is completed and we are going to add finally a note. So I'm going to use the note here. And I'm going to add the note right here. Just move them slightly. And make sure the caps look is on. And note. All. Emperors. 2.5 millimeters unless otherwise specified. Okay, we add the notes. This is what um, activity wants us to put in our drawing files so we don't need to um, put the depth of the this tool holes fit in i would like to put it but since the activity doesn't want us so you can leave it as it is okay thank you for watching and have a wonderful day